Hey guys, it's Keisha here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing what to use to energetically clear your home. Uh, this was actually requested um, by Naturally Me 777 She actually asked me what to do for that and I thought I'd make a video for it so I'm finally getting to it. Uh, we are going to be covering today smudges, powder and sahumerio, incense, palo santo sticks and at the end I'm going to talk about a couple options if you do not want exposure to smoke. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is incense. Uh, incense is used all over the world throughout history, um, but the oldest recording of its usage was in Egypt. Uh, it was often used while offering prayers. Um, today it's more commonly used because it smells awesome, but you can also use it for clearing. Uh, sage would probably be your first go-to option, but I actually prefer dragon's blood. Uh, it has powerful protection properties so if you're using it around your home it helps to protect your home um, it smells amazing and it's really great for grounding and it also helps in balancing the root chakra I should also say that it's known for calling past lovers to your door so you've been warned next thing I want to talk about is using a sage smudge and sage is probably the most universally used herb throughout history it's been used in ancient times in Asia the Middle East Europe and the Americas uh, the burning of sage is known for clearing, but it also provides wisdom, clarity, and spiritual awareness. Uh, I think it's really important to make sure that you have clear intentions when you burn, burn sage and as you move throughout your space. I like to hit every corner of my apartment. I like to go into the doorway and get the doorway. I also like to open the window after to let any energies out that I no longer want to have in the apartment, but it also lessens the smoke. Unfortunately, the one thing about sage is it does burn. It causes a lot of smoke. It's high burn. So just be warned that this one can be quite intense. Palo Santo sticks are basically pieces of Palo Santo tree. Um, Palo Santo grows on the coast of South America and they're not treated in any shape, way, or form. It's just pure wood and the smell is so earthy and so soothing. Uh, the word Palo Santo means holy wood. It's considered to have a lot of powerful properties for grounding and clearing space. I personally like Palo Santo because of its slow burn. Um, you know, I burn it, it takes a minute to get going, but once it burns, it burns for just the right amount of time before it goes out. So the next one on my list is Sahumerio and powders. I'm not gonna talk about the powders so much because they're pretty straightforward, but Sahumerio is really a really great option if you are struggling with lung sensitivities and want to have the most limited amount of smoke exposure. Um, Sahumerio is a blend of herbs that shamans use in Peru, and this blend includes Palo Santo chips, eucalyptus, rosemary, lavender, and myrrh and it's great for clearing purification and aids in protection of the home to keep evil away for wisdom and to ground i have this bowl that is specifically for burning incense and i just light it i let it burn for a little bit it goes out really quickly you can walk it around your apartment more uh, i tend to like to use this one just to burn a little and then let it go out. Uh, for big clearing, I tend to use sage smudges just because I feel like it allows me a uh, better manipulation to be able to take it through the apartment and hit all the places that I'd like. I like Sahimerio for just when I come home and maybe I've had a really stressful day and I feel like I'm carrying a lot of negativity around me. I like to burn this one to help kind of soothe me. If you are interested in having the clearing properties without the smoke exposure, this simple uh, sage room and body spray recipe is going to be really great and it's not even really a recipe. It's two ingredients. I'm using sage essential oil and just some water. I'm going to be putting 15 drops into a glass bottle and I always use glass instead of plastic. Plastic leaches toxins into the solution and then I'm just going to add some water and that's it. I spray this all over. I spray it around myself. I spray it around the apartment. If you have cats and dogs though, just a notation that they do have sensitivity to essential oils so you just want to maybe minimize their exposure. So the last one on the list is Himalayan salt lamps and one, I love them because just looking at them, I find them to be very soothing, um, but they're also really great for grounding, and I find them to be not as much clearing, but more purifying. They are known to purify the air by uh, something that has to do with negative and positive ions. I do not know the science. I have towels underneath my salt lamp, and that is because it absorbs the humidity in the air. It actually starts to leak water over time, so I have 
this um, in a bowl to collect that water. For a while, I couldn't figure out where the hell this water was coming from. It's kind of awesome because you get to see actually what it's doing. Um, but then uh, if you keep it on, it doesn't um, leak. So the more you have it on, the less it leaks. So that's it. I hope you guys really like this. I hope these are very helpful. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.